what is good what is good today is chest and shoulders day i make sure i do not do chest day on monday because that is international chest day and if you're actually trying to get that chest to grow you need to make sure you can actually get to the equipment as opposed to having a whole bunch of other instagram stars taking up all your equipment so let's dive right into it The essentials to bring with you to the gym. Water bottle. You do not want to have to keep going back and forth to the water fountain. That's just going to take up time between your sets. And I'm not one of those guys that does like four minute breaks between their sets. That's ridiculous. I want to get in. I want to get out. <clears throat> AirPods, some sort of head, headphone device, Bluetooth or not, irrelevant. Just so something so you can have some music going through your head. Make sure it's music that's going to pump you up, all right? God forgive me, but I like listening to Eminem throughout the day, and I know that's being a Christian and listening to profane music. It's a little bit crazy. So I try to keep it clean, but sometimes Eminem just really gets me there. His song, Higher, mm, forget about it. Kindle, if you're going to be doing some cardio, I highly recommend reading something as opposed to just watching Netflix. Because reading, you're actively, you're actively engaging your mind and time goes by a little bit faster. Another thing that I have, you might see like, Chris, what is that like outline around your gut? I wear a sweet sweat belt for when I'm doing my workouts. This isn't a um, shortcut to fat loss or anything like that. It kind of just speeds up a little bit, gets some more sweat going on in that area. But it's not going to burn off a donut. You still have to be in a caloric deficit. You still have to do your cardio. Last but not least, the most important thing that you need when you're getting ready to go to the gym is that mindset that you are now entering your little iron dungeon, your iron paradise, as The Rock calls it, your iron fortress, your whatever. You are right now going in there with the mentality that you're going to really destroy those weights. Those weights are scared of you right now. That's what you need. You need to get in there, be intense, be focused, get your work done. All right, let's go. So every day I have pretty much the same pre-workout meal. I'm going to take two scoops of Dimatize ISO Whey. I make absolutely no money from these guys. They're not sponsoring me, nothing like that. They're just that good. They're probably one of the more expensive brands of protein powder out there, but I notice if I take the cheaper stuff, I'm gonna be paying for it later and it's not gonna be pretty. So the next thing, I cannot stand drinking my calories. I feel like I actually don't get anything out of it. So even though there's gonna be some left over in the bowl, I always make a protein pudding. Let me show you exactly what I do there. So we get the two scoops out, right? Bada boom. Bada bing. And then we do the one thing that I should have already done. We grab a spoon to mix it all up in. And now here is the trick, the caveat, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to move the camera down. When you're putting the water in, go slow you can always add more water but you can't put more you can't take any out all right so really slow drip maybe not maybe not you don't have to be that crazy eh, yeah, okay and you just get some in there bam that might be that should be just about right now what i'm going to do let's see if you can see i'll just put it up here now what i'm going to do i'm just going to mix this bad boy up so it's basically almost like, you know, like that uh, that paste you used to eat in kindergarten. That's about the consistency of what it's going to be. All right. Now, another thing you can do with this is you can make another bowl later and put it in the fridge. And it'll almost be like pudding. Or, I mean, uh, it'll be like a cold pudding. That's kind of cool, right? Like you make that like a snack. This is a whopping 240 calories and 50 a whopping 240 calories and 50 grams of protein, all right? So this is for the pre-workout. Next up, I wanna shock you guys here. Next up, 
Yes, I know I advocate for a low carb diet, but, and this is from learning from my coach, but when I go for a workout, I'm ready for a workout. I do actually need a decent amount of carbs to fuel the workout. So, only one, one rice cake. And it's gonna provide me with eight grams of carbs. That eight grams of carbs is going to give me just a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a pick me up to get through the workout. Now, next, bang, next up in the arsenal is like our pre-workout drink mix and the supplements that we're gonna take this morning. So, bada boom, bada bing, Alpha Line Superhuman Burn. It's a fat burner and a pre-workout. And right now, since I'm couple weeks out from the contest fat burner creatine i don't care what brand of creatine you get just make sure it's creatine monohydrate you should be taking this stuff till the day you die and then and for anyone asking no i don't do i don't do the preloading phase i don't think that's necessary all right beetroot capsules these help your uh, veins dilate a little bit more give you a little bit more of a pump Fidogia Agrestis, Tonkat Ali Complex. Boom. These will help you with your natural testosterone levels. All right. I understand that TRT is all the craze for anybody over like 25 these days. I know there's some folks that truly need it, but I'm very aware that things get over prescribed because, well, it makes you money, right? Last but not least, quadricarb. Another little fat burner type of thing. I'll take two of these, two of these, two of these, and then of course, a pre-workout. All right, don't forget, if you are in the Cleveland, Ohio area, check out Third Monkey, one of the coolest cover bands in the area. You might know the lead singer. All right, we are at the gym, and I have a saying called, make health a habit. And what I mean by that is everything you're doing, be ridiculous. Look how far away I am from the gym, which is, where is it? No, it's way, way over that way behind me where all those other cars are. All right, so I have no idea how many steps it's gonna be to get from here to there, but I do know that I'm parking a little bit further away and those kinds of things add up. And I'm not just doing that when I'm at the gym. When I'm at the grocery store, I'm parking furthest away as I possibly can. Just moving your body as much as you possibly can is going to help just make you healthier, period. Uh, you know, lose some weight, get your heart going right. Uh, you know, it's not just about looking good with your clothes off, it's about being healthy. So make health a habit. Okay, honestly, warming up, just move your arms around a little bit, get a, like a dynamic stretch in your chest, move your shoulders around, get that blood moving. You really want to avoid injury, all right? And it's winter time or close enough to winter time in Ohio, so it's even more important to warm up before you start your sets. I just move my arms around a lot, maybe get a couple of very high incline push ups, and now I am ready to go, baby. This is by far my favorite chest exercise. I don't even care if it doesn't work anything, I love it. But no, it really does. It works your chest real well. It is the squat of upper body exercises the weighted dip now unfortunately there's really no proper way oh make sure you get your hat back on Chris there's no proper way of getting that belt on and not looking like a complete idiot but it is what it is get up there I got that 45 pounder up and full range of motion for full effect all right lean forward so you're targeting your chest a lot more than you're targeting your triceps going for as many reps as possible giving me as many quality reps as possible. When you don't think you can give me another rep with good form, stop. You're done, son. All right, I straight up stole this exercise by watching Eddie Active's YouTube videos, and I started incorporating it, and I freaking love it. Low cable flies. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit, and then boom, I'm bringing it up. Full stretch, full contraction, squeeze a little bit at the top. Feel this. You'll be surprised at just how little weight you can do and how much it's still going to smoke you. Again, 
one working set, if not two working sets out of the four that I do. I do four on the weighted dips and four on the low cable flies. The last two are going to be smoke, smoke, smoke sessions. Next up, machine incline presses. Why machine incline? Well, because I'm working out by myself. And if I'm gonna to go to failure, I wanna be able to not drop the barbell over my chest or have to drop dumbbells and perhaps tear my shoulders. Folks, I don't care if you're 22 or 82, you should be training with longevity in mind. Don't be stupid. If you're working out by yourself, use machines or weights you can handle, or if you really need to, get yourself a spotter for that one particular working set. But if you're gonna push yourself and you really don't feel like having to rely on a spotter who might suck, use a machine. There's no shame in it at all. All right, next we have a whole bunch of people getting in front of my camera shot here, but otherwise known as cable side laterals. I make sure that that cable hand goes past my center line while I got somebody putting his butt right in front of me and not moving out of the way for like an entire set. So all right, go, I'll go to close to failure on my non-dominant side. Thanks for keeping yourself right in front of my camera, bro. All right, I guess I should have said something beforehand, but that's all right. So I'll go to failure on that first on my non-dominant side, and then I'm going to switch around and do the exact same number of reps on my right side, all right? <clears throat> so there's a saying, both sides are strong, but there is a side that's less strong than the other, all right? So there we go. Now... All right, now homeboy's over there doing his dips. I think he was doing half reps. That's okay. I'm not his trainer. If he came to me, I would have told him to correct his form. But you see, going past midline, all right, and just really cranking those bad boys out, getting stuff done, going to failure. Is you grow when you push yourself. You don't grow by doing things just enough to be a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone sucks. You don't want to be in your comfort zone. All right, first thing you're going to notice is there was a costume change, and that's because when I did this first recording, I somehow forgot to record front delt raises. I love this exercise. You might not be able to see it, but I really let the arms go back behind me in a slow, controlled manner to really work that rotator cuff, uh, almost like a therapeutic session in a way. Don't sacrifice form for ego. I say that over and over again. Those, it's rather lightweight, but I do push myself hard. And again, working set, your working sets are going to be very close to failure, if not complete muscular failure. Once your body's thinking that it's ready to give up, that's when you start telling yourself, this is just the warm up. This is just the warm up. And then you pump out a couple more reps. All right, when your form goes, you stop. Last but not least is another exercise that I stole straight up from Eddie Young, Eddie Active's YouTube channel. If you aren't following him, you're stupid. Follow him. But these are called crucifix rows. Great rear delt exercise. Make sure you're not swinging your body too much to get momentum. It might happen if you're trying to do a forced rep or two. But otherwise, I'm an advocate of just using proper form all the time. Doing cheating things, I know that there's a time and a place for it, but for the most part, I just don't see a reason to do it because it's just running the risk of injury for the sake of, oh, hey, look at me. I was able to do a little bit more. Okay, because once you make that injury happen, now you can't get to the gym for God knows how long and your gains might go away. And that's what we don't want. I hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed creating it. One thing I want to really impart and share with you right now. When I'm in the gym, I'm in a zone and this is the zone I want you to be in. You are putting yourself through a grueling workout. You are making yourself a warrior. All right? Human beings, before the Industrial Revolutions, before all of the modern conveniences that we all love and enjoy now came into being, we had to push ourselves in order to survive. Modern man does not have to push himself in order to survive. Everything is at his or her fingertips. Okay? But the problem with that is, let me turn off this dehumidifier. I heard the noise earlier in the other clips. I'm sorry about that. Modern man doesn't have to push himself to in order to survive. He can get everything he needs at his fingertips. Um, as far as getting sick is concerned, he can go get some modern medicine. And while that's great, it doesn't lead to a fulfilling life. 
but having a healthy body and a healthy mind is going to give you a much more full life. All right. The goal, as I've stated before, and I'll state again, is to not only hopefully add days to your life, but is to add life to your days. When I am in that gym, I am in a different world. And I want you to be in that same different world where you are like the star of your own movie. Everyone's filming you because you're a documentary. You are the, uh, you know, you're the lead role in your version of Pumping Iron or something like that. Okay? That's what you do when you're in that gym. You're there to crush it. You're there to make those weights scare to you. And then you're going to go home and do the rest of your day as a bodybuilder. And by the way, as I've said other times, whether you want to compete or not, simply by exercising and dieting, you are a bodybuilder. So might as well be a good one. All right, link in the description, as always. Download my free ebook. Also, let's set up a 30 minute consult and start working together. I know we can make some great things happen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to enjoy this one. Be sure to like this channel. I'm sorry, like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this content with your friends, and I will see you in the next show. God bless you.